It's a banking bailout that the bank's own customers are being asked to pay for. People in Cyprus have been queuing to try to get their cash after learning of government proposals for a levy on their deposits to rescue struggling Cypriot banks. One man even threatened to bulldoze his way in. Cyprus and Britain have strong historical ties and there are nearly 60,000 British expats living there. Many attracted by the weather and until now the generous interest rates. They too will share the pain. Even if you have a few thousand in the bank, you might have been able to earn um, 3% on it. OK, you get taxed on that, but, um, but it was s certainly a, a more attractive proposition than keeping it in a UK bank account. But now, of course, we realise high, high reward is always high risk. Uh, we, you know, there's always two sides to that, to that coin. If the charge targets members of the British Armed Forces stationed in Cyprus, the government says they'll be compensated and no one living in Britain but with money in Cypriot banks will have to pay. For people serving in our military, people serving our government out in Cyprus, because we have military bases there, we are going to compensate anyone who is affected by this bank tax. People who are doing their duty for our country in Cyprus will be protected from this Cypriot bank tax. The plan is for those with less than €100,000 in their account to pay a one-off tax of 6.75%, while those with more would pay nearly 10%. The Cypriot government is due to vote tomorrow on the proposals. The president has warned that refusing to pay would lead to the collapse of the country's banks. Ben Ando, BBC News.